Hey guys, it's Lindy here for part two. So this is what your loom should look like so far. Okay, so once right underneath the light color bands or just your blue bands, whatever you did, is fine. So now you're going to get two white bands and put it right underneath the middle the sides. So you're just getting two white bands and putting it right underneath. Okay? So your loom should look like this. Once your loom looks like this, you're going to put two more bands right between there. Okay? So now your loom should look like this. Once your loom looks like this, you're going to get two white bands, only two, and put it from the left right into the middle. It could be the right, but I always do the left just like that and then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side go to the right into the middle just like that okay once you do that you see this middle peg you're going to get one band twist around two times creating three loops you ready twist around once twist around twice so now your loom should look like this once your loom looks like this you're going to get two yellow bands and put it on the left or the right. I always start the left. So as you, if you see my other videos in this video, you can, as you know. Okay, so then this is the left. It might look like the right, but it's the left. And then you're going to put a set of, a set of two more yellow bands right underneath that. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. After we do this, then we're almost starting to go to the looming process. So now, your loom should look like this. So we're here. So now on both of these pegs with the yellow, I'm going to twist one yellow band around two times, creating three loops. So I did it on this peg. Now I have to do this peg. So again, get one band, twist around your loom two times, create three loops, and this is what your loom should look like. As you can see, cap band, cap band, cap band, okay. Once you do that, we have to make the arm, the little cute hat, sorry, the little cute hat, and that's what we'll be making right now. So now, if you're like me, you're going to get your light color, twist it around your hook, Two times, creating three loops, so this is what it should look like. And if you're not doing a dark and a light color, then you'll just be using your blue. But if you like me doing two different sets of colors, then you'll be doing your light color. Then, you're getting your two light bands, or blue bands, I'll just call it blue, and slide these two right on there, just like that. Once you do that, your hook should look like this. Once your hook looks like this, you're going to grab one light band or blue band and slide it on that one light band, blue band. Okay? So now I always place it on the right. So you could do on this peg or on this peg. I choose the right because once you take it off your loom, it'll be on the left. It'll be the opposite. So you could choose whatever side you like. Okay, so this is what your Donald's hat should look like right now. And as you can see here, I have one band on it. So what you're going to do is, this is what, this one I think they're going to be in second color. You could do white if you don't have it, but it should be, I think, another blue. So once you get his little hat, then you're going to twist the other band. The other band, you're just going to twist it on. So see... right here, like this, you understand, so what you're doing is, I, I want to show you the best I can, see, like, all these bands out of the way, see, right here is the little hat, 
So on the little hat, you're going to get your blue band right around it. It's a bit harder doing it this way. And then, well, no, it's not hard, I'm saying, because I'm trying to show it to the camera. Then you're going to twist it around once. I'm going to twist it around twice. Did I say two times? I meant three times. Sorry. Three times. That's what it should look like. Straight on how you like it. And this is what your Donald hat should look like. It's really cute. Okay. So when, once you do that, I'm going to make the arms. And then we can start looming. So then, you're going to get one white band. Twist around your hook two times. Creating three loops. This is what it should look like. Then you're going to get two white bands, slide that one band on the two, just like that, if you don't know what I mean. So you just keep sliding. Then you're going to slide another two white bands. And then you're going to slide your dark color, if you're like me, the dark blue. If not, then your blue. But then this will match the collar, like the upper shirt and the start of it. So that's why you're going to do the dark blue. So then you're going to so then your hook should look like this. Once your hook looks like that, you can put it on the left or the right peg for one, two, three, four, five, the fifth peg down. I chose the left. This is what it should look like. Then you're going to repeat the step, get your hook, twist one band, two times, create three loops. Then you're going to slide two white bands. Then you're going to slide another two white bands. Then you're going to slide two of the dark blue or your regular blue. And then you're going to put it on the fifth peg down on the left or the right. For me, it will be the right. This is what your loom should look like. Double check. Okay, once, yay! <laughs> once you do that, now we can start looming. So you're going to go on this peg and go underneath the cap band and bring up the top two, the top two bands up to the side for me it will be on the right if you did it like me just bring up the top two so you're going to go underneath the cap band okay you're going underneath it and grabbing the top two grabbing the next top two once you do that and then you're going to go underneath and grab up the next top two okay once you go any farther then you're going to go into the yellow band, left, right, it doesn't matter. You're going to go underneath the cap band, bring up the bottom two bands up and over. Then you're going to go into the next peg, go into that, bring the next two bands up and over. So whenever you're looming, you bring up the bottom two bands, you're going under, but we're not starting that part yet, but you're going under, we're going to the top two bands, the top the two bottom bands. I'm sorry, I just was doing the same wording from that. So you're going underneath it, grabbing the bottom two, bottom. You're always bringing up the bottom two bands. And this is what it should look like. Then you're going to go into the yellow foot and grab up the bottom two bands, the bottom. You're always grabbing up the bottom just for this one part. And you usually do this for the neck, but and we're also doing it for this part too today. You always bring up, whenever you're doing that, the top two, but whenever you're looming in general, you just bring up the bottom two bands. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to grow, go into this peg and bring up the bottom two bands up and over. Then you're going to go up, bring the bottom two bands up and over, and then you're going to go and bring the bottom two bands up and over. Okay. Oh! I'm so sorry, I forgot to tell you about triangle bands. I always do white.
I, I usually do these two and these two. Okay, I can still do it. Hopefully you're watching this video in advance before looming, but if not, I'm so sorry. You can just slide it under, because the top two bands, it should be right in between those two bands. It shouldn't be on top. See, okay, you just, okay, perfect, so this is what it should look like while you're looming, <laughs> so sorry about that. When you do a cap band, all you're doing is doing one band, putting it in a triangle, just like that, okay? Just so that you can see. So sorry about that. But you, if you didn't, you could, as you see, I just slided it. Like, right here. You see, here's the arm. See, just is right onto that on the side. See, it's right on top, and in here on the side, in that peg, in the middle peg, now there will be two bands, if you already loomed it like I did, there will be two bands, and then you're going to slide one band right in between. Okay, this is the end of this part, and please meet me in the next part. Goodbye.